And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so today I'm just going to go through a little bit of refresher with you guys, just so we all are on the same page. We're going to do a little bit of a calculation. So we are just going to do this. We're going to go through all of the prices here and we're going to calculate what all of them are in total. And then we're also going to return how many people there are in here. So let's go into calc. First, we'll need two variables then. Variable, I count, to count how many people there are. And I total is enough so far. Then what I want to do is we want to set both of these to zero. And now we want to start talking to the database. So with now we don't really need this in this case. But first thing we do want to do is we just want to go tblmusic.open. It's not necessary, but it's good because we want to read from the database. And in tblmusic.first. Just so if the cursor is not at the first position, like let's say the cursor is there, then it will go to the first position and start from there. Then we want to start a while loop. Well, not. TPL music dot end of file begin. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's raining and it's noise. So first thing we do want to do is we want to go R total, R total. I mean I total. Oh wait, is it I total? Are we working with just integers? Yeah, it seems like we're working with just integers. Yeah. Okay. We're working with just integers, so it's our I total becomes I total plus. I'm gonna go control D plus TBL music. Now, usually, if we want to select from here, we just go like that. And believe me when I tell you, there is nothing wrong with this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with doing it this way. But there is another way to do it. It's a little bit more effort. That's why I don't usually do it. But it's good for you to know. So dot field by name. And then in here, you put whatever you want here. In this case, we want the price. And then you have to say as what type it is. In this case, dot as integer. Of course, there is also Boolean. And I believe string, yeah. Okay, so there is a bunch of data types you can use. And in this case, we want as integer because we want to receive integers. And then we can just ink I count. Show message int to string. I count there. Now, this code should not give us any errors. Ah, you know what I did wrong? Yeah, that was my own stupidity. I'm not gonna lie because I accidentally started a while loop uh, because I did not go. Inside of this while loop, tblmusic.next. So it just kept on adding this one. Yeah, that was my fault. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so 106 number of learners has been counted, and they paid a total of 42,138. So that's basically all of this. Now just to show you, you don't need to use this. You can still use the previous method. I'm going to 
that was not the outcome I was looking for, but I'm going to do this. Okay, we click run. 106, 42130. Same effect. Just one is a little bit more specified. Not really necessary for you to know how to use that. I just want to throw that in here while we're doing this little assignment. Or assignment, just little activity. So yeah, I hope you all did you know, just learn something out of this. Maybe you didn't, maybe you already knew you could do this because you were smart, or I don't know. But I hope you all did enjoy this video and thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.